that you love what is up everybody welcome to another video today i want to share with you guys the list of game modes that 2k should add into the game now some of these i made up myself some i saw it from other games and some i saw it from other people but either way these are amazing ideas and 2k should definitely put it in the game either this year or the next one somewhere along the line i would like to see these game modes added into the game so before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button and like it make sure that you let me know what game mode you won in 2k17 this first idea is something that everybody has wanted for a long time it's already in the game and i don't understand why it's not by itself yes we have also weekend in my career my gm and my league but we want to also be able to play it with our friends and play it whenever we want to i got a feeling that 2k might have added this this year so i'm really excited to see if it's in the game but also they haven't confirmed it so i don't know Another thing, we have the 3 point contest, the slam dunk contest, the all-star game and the rising stars, but we don't have the skill challenge. And as a point guard that loves handling balls, this is my favorite thing of the all-star weekend. So please, let me handle them balls in the skill challenge. Add it into the game 2K, come on. What do you guys think about in my career online? Me and my friends spent a long time talking about this and we think it's a great idea. You will start off in a draft combine, you will all play each other and get drafted to separate teams. Now let's say I get drafted to the Miami Heat and my friend gets drafted to the Boston Celtics. Whenever the Miami Heat have an upcoming game against the Boston Celtics, we will play each other using only your my players. And whenever we have a game against a team that doesn't have a real player in it, then we just play the CPU. Now when it comes to the park and program, it wouldn't be a problem because all you would do is choose whether you want to use your normal my career player or you want to use your, my, your player from my career online. So 2K should definitely look into this, this is an amazing game mode that we thought of. So what do you get when you cross Road to the Playoffs with Pro-M? Basically, you get this game mode. In FIFA, it's called Pro Clubs and that's where I got it from for those of you that want to check it out. And all you have to do is pretty much go into your Pro-M with your friends and you start a game. And basically the way it works is you start in Division 10 and you're given 15 games and you have to win 7 of those. So once you win them, you move up to Division 9. The more you move up to Division 1, it gets harder. So they could give us things like shirts, hats, and cosmetic stuff for my players are rewards for moving up in divisions. Also, every Saturday or whatever day they choose to, they could do a special tournament that would only be open that day. And if you win it, you get more cosmetic stuff that are only available to people that play that tournament. And the way tournaments will work is like you would get, it would be kind of the same idea, but if you lose, you get eliminated. So you have six games, you have to win them all in a row, kind of like a playoff. You have to win them all, and if you lose, you get eliminated. And then if you get to the finals and win, then you get the reward. So that's basically how it work. I think this is not only good because it's a great idea, but it's good because it will give us a, a purpose for playing Pro-Am. At the moment, Pro-Am doesn't serve any purpose other than that's the only time you're going to be able to play with your my player 5v5 okay so at this point everybody has pretty much heard of draft draft is something that everybody in the my team community has wanted for such a long time and this is how it works you go into a game right and you choose point guard right and it will give you five options or six options how many they want to give you so it will give you like five different point guards and you choose one of them then you go to shooting guards, it gives you five random shooting guards, you choose one of them, and you do that for every position. So basically it's kind of like giving you a random team, but it actually gives you options. So like give you ra five random players and you choose one of them, and you do, you do that for every position. And at the end you end up with a completely random team, and you get to use it for one or three games, or how many games they want to let you use it for. And that's just how it works, that's, it. that's pretty much it. That's, it's that simple. And the community has been going crazy for this. And 2K is still yet to give us this. They gave us Gauntlet, which is so much similar to this, but they can't give us this? I don't understand why. This should definitely be in the game already. And last but not least, create a server. Seriously, 2K, if you're not gonna face your goddamn servers, let us at least create our own servers. Now I'm just kidding guys, it's not the actual game, but I just wanted to say that. Okay, so this next one I call it Moments. And it's super simple. It's an NBA life. Uh, it's a simple, super simple idea, and it's extremely fun. So basically, you pick a moment that happened in real life. Like for example, we're gonna use the Tracy McGrady one. You know where he scored 13 points in 33 seconds. 
And basically they throw you in the game with 33 seconds left and you have to score 13 points. It's that simple. Or you can do it with an entire game, something like Kobe's last game and you have to score 60 points with Kobe or something like that. It, it, it's that simple. Just moments that happen in real life and you have to repeat them in the game. Now everybody make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment below what game mode you want to see in 2K17. I'm really curious to see what game modes you guys can come up with. But most importantly, make sure you hit that subscribe button because today is community day. And I don't know if you know what this means, but basically what it means is there's a lot of 2K17 news that are going to come out. And I'm going to be there to release them all as soon as I hear them. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter. It will be in the description because that's where I'll post stuff that are small and I don't want to make a video about it. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace out.